everybody, Noreen here from Organizing Creative Mom. Thanks for joining me today. This is the sixth video in my Play and Create series, a little series designed to provide you with a little bit of inspiration, a little bite-sized sort of project to help with the isolation, the staying in, the quarantine times that we are in during this COVID-19 pandemic. So today we're actually going to be playing with cut files and we're going to be making two different layouts based on the two little techniques that I will show you. So this uh, cut file I designed just because we're right into spring now and I always enjoy using cut files. So I decided to do a little hello spring. You can see that there's a handwritten font for the hello and then an open font for the word spring. And when you cut them out, it will look like this, okay? The nice thing is, is that you'll actually get the letters um, from the insides of the word spring as well. So you can definitely do something else with those. The other thing to note that when you cut it out, whether you're using a, you know, a silhouette or a, um, or a cricket like I did, is that you'll get these little pieces that look like a D. And you can choose to keep those or not. They're actually the insides of the P and the R in the word spring. Now you can see here, and I'll talk about this when I do this particular layout, but you can add them in if you like, or you can leave them off. It is totally up to you, okay? I just wanted to let you know that for when you're cutting them out. All right, so we get the word spring and uh, whether you do it in large size or small size. So let's just move these out of the way. Okay, so for the first layout, I decided that I wanted to use it as a smaller title. So I cut my words out at 4.75 inches wide, and I cut my background layer out at just a quarter inch wider, five inches wide. And then really all I need to do is uh, glue them together. And to do that, I'm going to use my repositionable adhesive. It works so well for all of these fine little tiny pieces. And if you don't know about uh, Creative Memories repositionable adhesive, you can just put it wherever you like and it will only stick to the paper. Okay. So you might see little tiny dots of adhesive. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not. But if you see any on your project, all you have to do is take your finger or um, uh, an eraser and then just kind of rub them off. So I just always kind of give it a little bit of a rub afterwards. Use my multi-purpose tool to get back in there and rub off any extra. Okay. So that's going to be my title, and I'm actually going to put this right onto a lovely little layout that I made with some of the um, neutral, uh, more neutral tone-on-tone -tone papers from the spring, uh, spring medley collection. So I used the new spring leaf chain to actually create three borders. I placed them on some white cardstock and then a six inch by 12 inch piece of the kind of gray buffalo check. And then this is actually the same paper that I cut my title from. So I was able to cut my title, my background, two four by six um, photo mats and three borders from that paper. All right, so basically I'm just gonna add my little uh, title there. As I mentioned, I could put my little D shapes there if I wanted to, um, you know, really kind of emphasize those words, make them look a little bit more complete, but not necessary. And then I think what I'll probably do is just add a few little embellishments. I've got one of the stickers here, maybe something like that, and then maybe my journaling over here. Okay, so a really quick little layout using the Hello Spring as a title. Now for this larger title, I actually cut it out of just plain white cardstock and I cut it at eight inches wide. And that made it so that these open font letters in the word spring became much bigger and all of a sudden I could back them with a variety of little scraps from the spring medley paper pack. And you can see on the back that it really is quite messy. Basically, I just place it on uh, onto a scrap I'll do it for you here with the G. So I just add some repositionable adhesive to the back side of my letters. 
and then place it down. I always like to try and uh, minimize my cutting. So I try to line it up with the edges. And then I just take my scissors and using kind of an angle cut, go in behind the letters to cut away the extra paper. There you can see, I'm going to have to do a little bit more cutting there, but there you can see uh, how easy it is to actually just back each of these letters with a little piece of scrap paper. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of the green buffalo check paper, and I'm just going to add my title off to the side, kind of on a little angle like that, and then I've got two photo mats with the blue um, cardstock there. And also because I was punching some borders earlier, I think I might just add some little uh, beige. This is from the navy and beige pa um, pattern paper. And I've just got a border here that I'm, I can just add just kind of underneath my photos to bring in that um, beige color. And then I've got some stickers and my little birds, my little nest that I want to just add in kind of kind of like that. Okay, so I'll be sure to show you the completed pages at the end of the video here. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But don't forget to go and download this Hello Spring cut file. And whether you choose to make it big or a smaller size to use as a title, I hope you enjoy this little cut file and create some fun and bright and happy springtime royal. Thanks very much for joining me on this episode of Play and Create. We'll see you again soon.